There's a delivery guy at the door. Wonder what that could be. Oh! So thanks to my haters for providing me with loads more views on my latest videos and giving me loads more lovely AdSense revenue. I bought a new radio. A lovely Yaesu FC DX10. I've heard such good things about this radio. I'm uh, really, really excited to, uh, to find out more. Yes, look at this. This is a bad boy. Look at that. That is lovely. Got no idea what any of these buttons do. Only kidding. Right guys, so got it powered up. Look at that. The waterfall looks amazing. It's um, it's really high resolution as well. The first thing you notice about it is the screen's a lot more high resolution than the, uh, the 705. Also, the frame rate is really high as well. You can actually change that. You can actually change the speed of the waterfall. So you could have it you know, really slow there. That's probably more the speed of the, the icon that I've been used to. Or you can actually, you know, make it super quick. Um, I really like this. I mean, this is fantastic. If those of you have not used anything with a waterfall, like a sort of SDR type, then this is amazing because you can actually just see signals everywhere. I mean, that's basically the idea. You see something just popping up there. And that's probably given us an idea of, you know, maybe like some propagation is, is happening at the moment because yeah, because down this end of the band, you probably get, yeah, you can actually sort of hear a bit of skip coming in there. If we change that to FM, we should be able to sort of hear that. There's Olga. So that'd be a good indication that we're going to get some, obviously some propagation is happening right now. So you should actually hear some stuff happen on, on the sidebands, a little bit higher, like so triple five, I'll try that in a minute. Oh, he's actually talking English now. <laughs> so I've always been a big Icon fan. Oh look, there's a squirrel in shot. More about him later. So yeah, I've always been a big fan of Icon uh, radios, but Yesu, you know, I think it's more like the operation of them. I think the software seems seems to be a little bit more, I don't know, maybe intuitive or I don't know, it just feels more rounded most of the time um, on the Icon stuff. But I'll tell you what, this, this is starting to change my mind. So if you know anything about these radios, you'll know that there is another radio in this sort of similar kind of, you know, I suppose price bracket called the IC7300, that's by Icon. Um, now these two radios, this is actually more recent, and I mean, this is kind of their answer to the 7300. Um, but I'll tell you what, the, the amount of features that this has got extra is enough to, you know, to sway. I mean, Icon are gonna have to pull some stuff out of the bag to kind of meet this. It's just things like you turn the back panel around, you see you've got USB sockets there, so you can plug in a keyboard and mouse, which is unbelievable, because you can actually get a pointer on the front screen um, to control everything. You've also got an external display. I don't know why this day and age they didn't put a HDMI socket on there, but it's a DVI one and you just need one of these little adapters. So we're gonna be trying that out. I'm also finding the menu system's really intuitive as well. Like you've got this kind of one menu and then these tabs along the bottom. Everything you need practically is in this, you know, one of these pages. So it's really easy to find stuff. Um, and if it, you know, isn't easy to find on there, there's gonna be a button around the outside for it. You know, things like just switching mode and band got their own dedicated button. It really is pretty easy to use. Like the Icon, I mean the Icons are great, but they do have quite a few different kind of menus. So depending on what you want to do, there's, there's been quite a few times where I've kind of just gone to a menu and, and kind of gone, oh no, it's not that menu, go back out. You know, this is a bit gimmicky, but it is pretty cool. It's kind of like a, a waterfall that kind of is three dimensional. So at the moment I've just got this hooked up to my 11 meter dipole outside um, for 27 megs. But obviously, um, you know, I can use all the bands, so, you know, <laughs> uh, there's been a lot of controversy over that in the last couple of videos, as we know. So yeah, if we just wanna flick bands, you can easily do it, just flick over to 20 meters. Got a bit of noise coming in here, I think that's from the power supply, actually, but you can make this waterfall basically take up the whole screen, it's amazing. Yeah, the antenna's not really tuned for that band, so it's not gonna do very well. But I will show you this. Look at the modes here. You can actually decode CW on this radio. So it's got its own CW encoder and decoder. Um, so you can actually do Morse code without knowing Morse code. <laughs> you can actually do it from a keyboard. So if you plug a keyboard in here, like a QWERTY keyboard, you can actually type messages in that way. Um, and that's the same for RITI and PSK as well. 
Um, unbelievable. So yeah, guys, lots to tinker with with this radio. There's loads and loads of features. I've been watching a lot of videos about its amazing DSP and how you can kind of pull out signals, really weak signals and stuff. So it's got some awesome processing that you can do. Um, and yeah, really digging out sort of signals that are difficult to hear. Noise reduction. The noise reduction on these ASUs, because um, I've got the FT891, um, and that that's amazing. I mean, that almost can be the difference between not hearing you know, the other station, if it's really bad conditions. The noise reduction really works, but you've got some amazing filters on there as well. It's definitely a game changer. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this one. There'll be loads more coming on this radio, and I'll catch you next time. It's all that's in there. One hold it, um, you've got a break as well there, so I'll, I'll catch, you, uh, catch you later. Thanks for the uh, report.